So the warning coming as major producers are pumping more oil. Right. So that's a twofold story there. First, uh, it was about the supply surge, and now it's really about demand destruction. That's what had uh, West Texas Intermediate Futures mainly traded in New York, uh, down almost 8 percent in the regular session. So we are seeing a bit of rebound as extended electronic trading opens. And the way oil plays out, both Brent crude and West Texas Intermediate in the Friday session could be a determining factor because we've had a run of four weekly declines uh, that could possibly be broken by West Texas Intermediate uh, if we saw a rebound continue in the regular session. But the projection from the International Energy Agency was dire. They're saying that global demand is in free fall. And you really see that projection if you look at the year-to-date for oil just in the West Texas Intermediate traded in New York. Uh, it really has fallen off a cliff and it had started to rebound. This pushed it further lower, closing close uh, to $22 in New York, basically saying that it, uh, consumption could fall by 20 million barrels a day and then worsen in the second quarter. And soon, it looks like stimulus may not help. Yeah, the question is, how much can it help? In fact, one uh, trader said, if you look at the technical charts, uh, what had been support, $30 oil, is now resistance. Uh, there are many traders that would be happy if oil could get back to 30 uh, The other question is uh, that stimulus may help the stock market and other assets, but a lot of people, about $3 billion in the world, are homebound, really locked in their homes, more or less. And you can't really stimulate gas demand when people are not out driving uh, their cars. Uh, layer on the fact that the shale industry here in the U.S. is uh, not really going to be ramping up anytime soon, particularly with the job losses. And there are questions about where to store all the oil that's being unused. Uh, finally, one point that many traders are talking about, even though there's starting to be optimism in the general market, is that oil is low on President Trump's priority. He's saying low pump prices are like a tax cut for Americans and taking credit for that as well.